let's just start with first thoughts, first reactions when you saw saw the name shop. I think Alyssa Thompson, as you mentioned, for those that don't know that name, she 17 years old. She's a senior in high school. She's been in the youth U.S. program for years. She mm-hmm. was just at the U-20 World Cup, uh, plays alongside Olivia Moultrie for people that might know that name. And this is her first senior team call up. We're going to talk about her a little bit more, but that was also a name that stood out to me. 24 players for this one, 23 who will be available between um, the two games. But I'm I'm excited for um, to see a name like uh, Alyssa Thompson on on this list. I, I think it still sort of shows that the pool is, you know, ever expanding that the, the bubble of players is, is pretty large can compare to probably some, some programs, uh, across, across the world. But, um, you know, a player who is coming off of, you know, participating in, in, in that youth world cup, like you just, just mentioned and, um, has a lot of, uh, hype around them. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a player that find themselves <laughs> making the decision as some other young players before her has made, you know, possibly, yeah. um, checking, weighing their options, you know, in terms of, uh, the potential and in, in possibly going, uh, pro that, that is, um, how, how much uh, Alyssa Thompson is sort of standing out in, in some of these uh, youth programs, right? So, uh, you know, Gatorade Player of the Year, I believe she's already signed to Nike, you know, so yeah, there's, there's a yeah. number of things that are already, you know, have already been in the works uh, for this particular player. And I would imagine, you know, this isn't just some small opportunity, you know, the, so much has been made about these friendlies coming up for this United States women's national team senior program that the fact that they're a traveling overseas, they're going to yeah. Europe, right? They're going to England. They're going to be, um, you know, posted up against, uh, you know, the lionesses, but also 90,000 people in Wembley. Uh, and then just in front of them, there's, um, you know, the potential to, to play uh, Spain and their side and, and go up against their program as well. So this is not, you know, this isn't some, little teams or anything like that. These aren't some, some unknown programs, you know, these are uh, top 10 ranked teams that, that, that the United States are going to try to close out their, their calendar year against. And in the horizon, it's Germany, right? We talked about that as well. So um, in these press conferences, we'll, we'll get more into that as well. I mean, Alyssa Thompson was this player that was, yeah. uh, people were kind of circling because they're just like, Hey, this is actually a new name uh, coming into, into the fold as you're going up against, you know, uh, three very uh, successful uh, uh, program, national team programs right now. So I, that included myself. I was also like very, very hyped um, to see that as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, Alyssa Thompson is a player. I know people in our chat are are asking like, who is she? How, how do we know her? Some people recognize her name. Um, She's been in the U S youth programs, as we touched on, she was just in the U S U 20 world cup in Costa Rica in August. She had a goal and an assist throughout that tournament. Um, The U S actually didn't make it out of the group stage. So not the best Mm -hmm. as a team tournament Mm -hmm. uh, for the U S but she's incredibly young. She's a senior in high school, 17 years old. Um, She has eight U 20 caps and four goals. Um, So she is eligible for the U 20 FIFA world cup. Um, the women's world cup coming in 2024 but the fact that she's on this roster is is huge because if she can start getting training camp alongside other forwards like Sophia Smith Mallory Pugh I mean Trinity Rodman is here and and the fact that that is the group of forwards along with Megan Rapinoe who's going to bring that veteran mindset and leadership to this group when you look at someone like Mallory Pugh who got called into this camp at, at 16 years old. And then Sophia Smith, who was one of the youngest to ever be called in also at 16 years old and was called up in 2017. It's the off field mentality, how you conduct yourself at this type of level that players um, like Rodman Smith Pugh can help Thompson with. So I think like bringing Thompson in at this point with all of those other players that were in her shoes just a few years ago is really, really crucial for her. Um, I mean, it, uh, Thompson is a player that's in MLS next. She plays on a, an Academy boys team with MLS next. And I read an article um, during the, the U 20 world cup that she had done about um, how, when she plays with the boys, she actually likes it so much better because they're, they're bigger than her. They're stronger than her. They're much faster than her. And she has to rely on other aspects of her game to compete with them. And she does because she is on a U17 Academy boys team in MLS next. And now getting this call up, I really, I think it's huge for, for her, for the youth program. Um, and I, it, I think it's also a little glimpse into what black one is looking at and looking for 
in players because on this roster, there's no Alex Morgan. There's no Margaret yeah. Purse. Um, there, there's a number of other injuries that players are dealing with that have left them off. Katarina Macario, Kristen Press. So it opens up a little bit um, for plenty of different players, whether they're in the NWSL, in other leagues. But if you're in the youth program, you've got eyes on you. And, oh, yeah. and, and now it's an opportunity for Thompson. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, even with the um, the finish that that you – that the U20 team had, um, it was a tough group also that they were in. Like, let's, let's call it like what, what it was. It wasn't, uh, uh, you know, and it, I guess you would maybe refer to it. You could have referred to it as, as a bit of a, of a group of death. I don't know if they actually use those terminologies within the youth systems, but I'm going to use it and bring it in and try to um, attach it to that to sort of like make note of that for folks uh, maybe looking at, at her inclusion in this roster and saying like, well, oh, like you're part of a team that maybe didn't necessarily make it to very far within those type of, of world cups. But I, I would imagine that her inclusion in this one is to sort of, um, you know, see if, you know, she has what she can bring into these trainings at the senior level uh, of these camps, because she's, we're talking again, very, very young player, high school player, um, you know, has her sister Giselle also is like, you know, a, a player that's coming up in the youth programs as well. So these are the, the Thompson sisters right there. These are names that we're probably going to hear for, for quite uh, some time. And um, I don't know if I would say that I was necessarily shocked uh, to, to see her inclusion on this roster, but maybe a little bit surprised. I, I didn't necessarily mm -hmm. anticipate um, that a player, uh, you know, she would be included in, in a roster like this, you know, like this one heading over uh, to, to Europe. So it's going to be probably a very, very good experience for a, a player of a, of her caliber. And, and we'll see if, if she's, um, you know, selected amongst any of these matches that come up against either England and or Spain. But um, 